your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. Body cameras will soon be rolling out for officers at the East Hampton Police Department. This week, the department was awarded more than $1,400 in state grant funding to help them get their new body camera program up and running. Chief of Police Bob Alberti says his officers will soon be trained to operate these cameras before using them by early next year. It was winter go home for the Americans at the biggest sporting event on the planet Tuesday as Team USA took on Iran in the World Cup. And Team USA gets the win with a score of 1-0. to zero. Soccer fans packing into the Rumble Seat Bar and Grill in Chicopee to watch the game. Nine years ago, the Chicopee Bar was made the unofficial hangout spot for U.S. soccer fans. This weekend, Springfield Central Football will compete for a fourth consecutive state championship. The Golden Eagles have scored over 50 points in three straight playoff games and have outscored their opponents by 120 points. If Central wins, QB Pop Watson will become the first quarterback in almost 20 years to win three Massachusetts state championships. The Central game kicks off at 12.30 p.m. Saturday afternoon at the home of the New England Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown with a check of your forecast. First alert weather day on tap for Wednesday and Thursday as we deal with some strong to damaging wind gusts. It's a moderate level impact as we've got wind advisories up for all of Western Mass for gusts reaching 40 to 50 miles an hour. Wednesday out of the south, mainly in the afternoon. And Thursday afternoon, wind will shift out of the west and again gusts 40 to 50 miles an hour. This could lead to some spotty tree damage across the region and also some isolated to scatter power outages. Temps will be on the warm side for Wednesday as highs climb to the low to mid 50s and we'll have a soaking rain on tap for the afternoon and early evening. Now, rain will come to an end Wednesday night. It turns colder as we go into Thursday. Highs only in the low 40s, but it'll feel about 10 degrees colder because of the wind. It'll be dry, but still very windy. Now, Friday, breezes are lighter. Highs in the mid 40s, which is normal for this time of year. We have our second system coming in Saturday with more rain and wind. And our third on Tuesday. And that'll be followed by a shot of colder air to end the week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.